Prosciutto wrapped salmon is delicious on its own, but it's the garlicky, tangy, roasted red pepper sauce that takes it to a whole new level. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, our celebration is all about a main course. It's all about salmon today. We're making my prosciutto wrapped salmon. So let's get started. Now, salmon is a wonderful fish. We eat it quite often. I think just about everyone likes it, but it gets a little boring. So I came up with this recipe and we're gonna wrap it in prosciutto and we're gonna make a sauce with it. So let's get started. We're actually going to start today with the sauce. I have a small bowl here. This is a very easy sauce, more like a salsa actually, because it's kind of chunky. We're gonna start with some freshly chopped parsley. I have a half a cup, which actually weighed out to be about 15 grams, right in our bowl. Next is roasted red peppers from a jar. Quarter cup or 65 grams. Again, I just chop them right in. Get them all in. Olive oil is next. Extra virgin olive oil. I want that extra flavor. So I have three tablespoons of my favorite extra virgin olive oil. Capers is what's next. I have two tablespoons of capers. I just lightly chopped them. It's gonna add a brightness, a brininess. I love capers. Let's get them all in. Now we need a little acid. So today I'm going to use sherry vinegar. This is what sherry vinegar looks like. It's darker than other vinegars. If you can't find it, you can use red wine vinegar. You need just one tablespoon. Naturally, Garlic is going in this. I have two cloves that I just chopped up, kind of finely. Where would I be without my garlic? And finally, we're gonna add some paprika, but not just any paprika. This is smoked paprika, and it is exactly that. Now you've seen sweet paprika and maybe hot Hungarian paprika. This is smoked and it is amazing. You want to try and find this and keep it around. We just need half a teaspoon. That's going to add a ton of smokiness and flavor, just that little bit. All right, we're just gonna give this a good stir. And I wanna hit it with a little salt and pepper. All right, now this sauce can just kind of sit and relax. All these flavors kind of get to know each other. You can make this in advance. You can make this up to three days in advance. And just keep it in your fridge. All right, we're gonna set this aside. Now we're talking about salmon tonight, so let's talk about fish. Now my recipe says four skinless salmon fillets. I'm just gonna cook two for you tonight. And I have two beautiful fillets here. They're about six ounces each, which is 170 grams. If you can't get them without the skin, you can either take it off yourself or you can ask your fish monger, and I'm sure they'll be happy to do that for you. All I've done is I've patted these dry with some paper towel, and we wanna season these with a little salt and pepper. I know we're wrapping them in prosciutto, but we still need a little a little more seasoning. Let's just set this aside for a minute. Now I said prosciutto wrapped salmon. What's prosciutto? This is prosciutto. It's an Italian ham, it's cured. It's absolutely delicious. And you want to, in this case, see if you can get it pre-sliced like I did here. If not, try your deli, they, they can slice it for you if they have it. But I like the pre-slice because it's a little more consistent and it's a little thicker, which will be easier to wrap. Generally, it's sliced very, very, very thin. So we just need two slices for each piece of fish. We're just gonna peel it off. Let's put 
that aside. Now we want to overlap these laces just a little bit. Just like that. This is how easy this is. We just need to take a piece of fish and we're going to lay it down and we're just going to fold the prosciutto over the top. It doesn't have to be perfect. If it doesn't wrap all the way around, that's fine. But what you get then is this lovely piece of fish wrapped in prosciutto. I'll do the other one. All right, here's our fish all wrapped up in the prosciutto. Now it's time to get cooking. I have my pan here. I'm gonna heat this up over medium low heat. We need a little bit of olive oil. Now this is a non-stick pan that is oven proof and that is very, very important that it's an oven proof pan. So I'm gonna put a little bit of oil, about a tablespoon or so. We just wanna let this heat for a couple minutes until it just starts to smoke. All right, my oil is just starting to smoke, so we're gonna drop the fish in. Now we're not gonna cook this all the way through. We're just cooking this for about two minutes on each side to crisp up and brown that prosciutto ham a little bit. We just wanna carefully get in, flip that over and wow, look that color. That is exactly what we want. So two more minutes on the other side. All right, I snuck a little peek and my fish is ready to go. I'm gonna cut the heat. Now this is gonna go into the oven now to finish cooking. I preheated my oven to 450 degrees, which is 230 Celsius. And we're gonna put it in the oven and cook it until an internal temperature of at least 130 Fahrenheit, which is 55 Celsius. It's really only gonna take five or six minutes. So off to the oven. Here we are, we're back from the oven. Took about six minutes and we hit our temperature, 130, 55 degrees Celsius. So look at this, look how glorious that looks. Let's give it on our little plate here. Beautiful. Now remember that sauce we made? It's kind of hanging out over here, getting to know one another. Here we are, we're just gonna spoon some of this right over the top. And I love this sauce. I'm gonna be generous. So now it's time for the tasting. Have a little piece here, get some of the prosciutto. And some of that sauce on there. Hmm. I need a moment. Wow. Salmon is buttery and delicious. And it's getting all that salt and porkiness from the prosciutto. Then you hit it with that sauce that's bright and pungent and garlicky. It's a marriage made in heaven. It's delicious. It's such a contrast of the hot fish and the cold salsa. Mmm. Need to wash it down. All right, I hope you liked this episode. And if you did, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and you'll get a new episode every single week. Now, while I devour this piece of fish, I want you to watch some of these episodes over here. So until next time, everyone, cheers.